hello and welcome back to another g auto repair youtube video and it's been a while since my last video i've been super busy doing other things and whatnot any other year mumbo jumbos but we are back in action and here we have a 2006 ford ranger and the issue is the wiper blade arm on this side passenger side is loose is not doing anything and the reason for that is there's a bushing here that normally pops out that's why you see the the arm of the linkage the transmission whatever you want to call it falls right out so this is just kind of swinging back and forth the, the driver's side works fine but this one just stays still doesn't do anything so it's a very common problem i've seen um with these uh, trucks it's the same thing with the mazda b23 series and 3000 or 3 whatever 100 series but ford ranger mazda uh, small pickup trucks is the same thing it has the same part so to correct that we are going to have to put a new bushing and this is what it looks like right here this is the new one this is the old one now normally you're going to find this still stuck on the arm right there so you're going to have to force this out and it's not going to come out without a fight as you can see it's kind of boogered up what I did is I grabbed a, a curved needle nose like this right here. And uh, I grabbed it and just kind of plop until it popped out. So this is what it looks like. So normally it gets stuck. The, the, the ball so and the socket stay intact, but it falls right out of the arm right here in the hole. As you can see there. It falls right out. So we're going to replace it. This is the new one. Now you may have difficulties finding this if you're searching through... Uh, AutoZone or whatever. Um, I'm gonna give you the part number if I can find it. I just had it. Oh, here it is. Retarded me. Here's the part. The part number is a Dorman 49456. I'm also gonna put that in the description down there. Uh, but this is the the part number to repair that. And uh, depending on what year, make, model you put, it may come up. It may not but they do work all the way around so i've uh i've seen this a couple other times and it's always this little part number here so so we're gonna go ahead and pop that in there now for if inf your information you do not have to remove the intake uh, manifold i removed it because i did the valve cover gaskets and spark plugs um, you do not have to remove this um, for this job there's just three little 5.5 millimeter screws here there's a cover. The cover does have a, a gasket seal. And you just pop, uh, pry it up, pop it out, and uh, and you're good to go. So let me put you guys over here so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, we're going to come over here. I need two hands. Oh, the first thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and just lube the inside of this. Cause this is gonna be doing a lot of friction for a long time so I'd like to go ahead and lubricate that just like that so that the socket stays uh, well lubricated and then we got to force this back in the arm there are little notches as you can see right here and on the other side and then you force it in there that's been a while since I've done one of these so I don't know how difficult it's gonna be to get back in there <laughs> you may need to with a plier let me see if I can just force it in there hey you little boogers here there we go now this side up here is probably going to be a little... There we go. It's in there. Yeah. So it's already in the arm. It, it clipped in there. Let me get my hand out of the way so you guys can see better. So there. It's in there. I apologize for all the movement, but it's kind of tight quarters. And then you just... Here's the, the ball and the socket. And now we just got to force it in there. And again, it might not go in there super easy. But we got to get it to pop in there. Ugh. Let me see if 
we could do the same ordeal here. They are a pain, that's for sure. There we go. There you go. So all I did is I grabbed the, the plier and I kind of just squeezed them together and get you better light. Plop, and it pops right in there. So there you have it. There, that is intact. Now all I have to do is go ahead and put the arm back. I pulled it out because I thought that um that it was just loose up here because it was just free spinning uh, but what it was is that this is a solid piece here and I thought it was supposed to spin spin with the uh, with the arm but no it wasn't this is just a this is what spins up here so I pulled this out thinking maybe I had an issue here so you do not have to remove this at all so there you have it guys a quick and easy fix um, it's just more getting to the part than anything else like I said normally you have the the intake uh, manifold here you do not have to remove it um, you can you can easily get to this uh, you probably have to wiggle on this one right here just kind of because it kind of the intake kind of ends about right here so you probably have to play around with this uh, with, a, with a shallow socket to get it out but it does come out I, as a matter of fact I pulled out the, the the cover with the manifold being on it's just I decided to fix it now since I don't have it in the way it's a little easier for you to maneuver so that's it, a quick video uh, to start off the year. Um, thank you guys for all your support, all your help. Um, it's, been a, it's been a real slice. And uh, looking forward to uh, a whole bunch of new videos this year and see how far we get. So again, like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you all for all your wonderful support. And we'll catch you on the next video. Ciao.